Jim, the draw's been out. We know the draw. First, let's touch on the qualifiers. I know yeah. there's a player that you really enjoy yeah. uh, watching and you've been a big fan of. Who is that? Well, CJ, we got to the semi finals last year. He was that far in front with Luca. He, he, he ended up getting beat, but I was really impressed with him. I was impressed with the way he played Ben Merton. Mm. Ben Merton played the best I've Brilliant. seen him play. Brilliant. You know, shortened his cue action, so he's going to have a good season mm -hmm. next year. But he came through that match. Um, from He was from behind, and then in his next match, he was 4-0 down, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden he hit the gas, and he won 10-4. Yeah. Now, he plays Mark Williams, obviously a big ass for him. But the way he played in that last session, Mark's got to get out of the traps really quick. I agree. We, I actually think that's the tie of the round. If Me you too. look at snooker player and snooker player. Me too. Awesome. Unbelievable. Yeah. Now, let's have a look then. See, we, and we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> we didn't. No. We're going to start with the defending champion. Yeah. Um, obviously, Luca. Yeah. What, what do you think about Well, he, he plays Dave Gilbert, the angry farmer. You know, it's, it's, unfortunately, since he's had success, he seems to have gone back to that, you know, little bit of an attitude that I think Gary Wilson used to have has got rid of it but we know how good Dave Gilbert is when he got beat by John Higgins about three years ago so if he plays his game he can beat Luca for sure. What I would say about that game he, he beat David Lilly first match at Qualies 10-4 yeah. he had three turns and five breaks over 65. Yeah That's, oh no he has, that, he has a fantastic he's, he's sometimes got... he's one of these guys I want to shake and yeah. say like fast forward yourself yeah, because yeah, you know yeah. this is it pal you've got to do it now and he can you know, he's got a tough game, Luca, but Luca's got a lot of metal about him. Mm. You know, he's got a lot of self belief. Another guy I know you're a big pal of and a big fan of, Maguire. Can, yeah. he, can he beat Carter? He can beat Carter, but he's got to get out of the traps quick. He's mm. got to stay with him. If it gets close, I fancy Maguire. Mm. Let's have a look then, I'll pick out another one. What about the local uh, Leicestershire derby? Selby against Joe O'Connor. Well, Joe O'Connor, um, I watched that game against Matt Selby. They actually, um, they went off air. I think um, people like, um, it, it went on so late, even uh, Dave Hendon like, um, uh -huh. missed a match. He, you know, he had yeah. to go off air because it mm. went on so late. But I was very impressed with the way Joe O'Connor handled Matt Selby's safety, stayed with him, the game was a bit dire. Now, if he plays Selby, and Selby's struggling, Selby's going mm. to do that. Because Joe's small in stature, but big in ticker, yeah, isn't he? So yeah. he's one of the, you can't shift him off his game, he just plays his game. That he's yeah, and he's a big time player, he's beat mm. Johnny Higgins a couple of times, he got to yeah. the final of a tournament, but yeah. he is playing one of the all-time greats, and he's obviously brought up getting the balls out for Mark mm. Selby, so there's obviously <laughs> that in the back of his mind. Talking about all-time greats, how about this for a matchup? Ding against Jack. Well, Jack, Silk, Q action it was very effective yes, in um, match, in qualifiers, but he's playing Ding. He's got to be second favourite because Ding is obviously had quite a good season. You know, oh, so, so you reckon Ding's I, marginal favourite? Oh no, I think Ding will be favourite. Yeah, okay. you know, but okay. you know when Jack beat Neil Robertson a couple of years ago, we thought it was going to kick on and get stronger mm. and stronger. He's been unlucky. You know, well, the way he mm. lost to Tom Ford in the German, he could have kicked on. That that match for me is. Uh, no pick for me, but yeah. I just fancy Ding will be favourite. Now here's another one. That, well, incidentally, we've got five matches of the first round. I'm going to name it. There's so many good ones. Well, uh, Judd Jud, yeah. Jud Trump or Shane Buffay. <laughs> what a match. <laughs> That's nearly as good as the one that, with Williams <laughs> and CJOE. But yeah. the thing about Judd Trump for me, he's had a fantastic season. He went on that role where he was indestructible self-belief. And then he played O'Sullivan in Saudi Arabia and he just like had a bad day mm -hmm. and it wasn't like him to play that bad. Okay, O'Sullivan against uh, Williams sort of died a bit towards the end because Williams was brilliant. But I think you've got to fancy Judd Trump in that match. You? I, what do you I, fancy? I, 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 I actually think Hossein's going to win. Okay. Yeah, I, I just think he's playing awesome, he's playing very aggressive, but he's playing Judd, if Judd, if Judd plays well, he should win. Yeah, he's, listen, I, don't saying, make no mistake, but, I'm saying he's a great player, but he's playing Judd Trump. You know, the, the Judd Trump for me, temperament wise, if he gets this form that he had a couple of, like six weeks ago, I think he wins the match. I asked you about Maguire. Mm. Um, could he win? Can JJ, giant killer Jamie Jones, beat John Higgins? Yeah, of course he can, because he scores well, you know, but will, will he be good enough for John Higgins' tactical side? You know, mm. and I'm sure. John Higgins in the world. It's always the case with John. You know, yeah, if, with John it. Higgins, you know, if he gets out the traps and gets on a roll, you know, he, he's not going to be easily caught. Mm. Jamie Jones is all about scoring, but you know, John Higgins, you've got to think 
he got to be thinking, well, I could have been playing Neil Robertson. Mm. You know, so yeah, it's well, good. There's that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Him, yeah. I didn't think of it that way, but mm. yeah, the players do. No, Higgins, uh, you've got to fancy Higgins. Yeah. Well, you fancy John's got a shout, right? Yeah, he's got he's got a shout. Yeah, got yeah. A shout. If John he's plays good. well again, he should win. Yeah. But, but he does know. score, Jeremy Jones. Yeah. I'm actually I want to ask you about because they're in the section. The winner of it plays the winner of Lucas match is the Milkman Bob Milkins against Pang Junsu. Mm. Well, I, I, listen, I've got to fancy Pang. I just mm. think he's solid. He, in the yeah. couple of the qualifying matches, he was behind. Mm. He scores. And uh, you know he, we, he come here last year, lost to O'Sullivan in the first match. Yes. Uh -huh. So you know he's not got that crucible sort of fear going mm -hmm. on. But you, Rob Milkins, if he turns up, you know he can be close. But I think they probably make Milkins favourite on paper. Mm. But I fancy Pat. Another former champion wanted to ask you about Stuart Bingham came through nicely. Yeah. He plays Gary Wilson. Who's favourite in that game? Well, put it this way, right? You in the qualifiers. Uh, Bingham's behind twice mm. against yeah. Heathcote and the other guy. Yeah, come through, right? Looked mm. like he was he was out. He did struggle in his yeah. first match because he's not been winning. Mm -hmm. But three years ago, who would you fancy, Stuart Bingham or Gary Wilson? Yeah, I mean it's a no-brainer. It's, right. it's Stuart yeah. Bingham all day. But yeah. now, mm. now it's you, Gary Wilson has got to be a uh, favourite because he's won that regained mm. that tournament. And it's there's my sex going on. <laughs> he, he regained that tournament by winning and he's a, a better, you know, far good player. But Stuart Bingham, you know, if he turns up, starts scoring, he can beat anyone. For me... No bet that one, Al, no bet. Okay, I'm not going to, near a bookies. Um, for me, the second standout performance at the Qualies, mm. I'm really interested to get your view on it. Jack Jones, he was incredible against Joe Yulong. He won the last eight frames and four two behind. Yeah. He plays Zhang Anda. And Joe Yulong just, uh, the, beat Cahill the match before 10-0. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, Joe Long's a real class player. Yeah. But the way Jack Jones played last year Please. and beat Neil Robertson, yeah. completely outplayed him on everything. Mm. And we haven't seen anything of him this year since no, that. I know. But he did, you're right, he played excellent. Yeah. So, you know, he's got a real good chance. Yeah, let's have a look then. Double D Dominic Dale, we love Dominic. He's uh, up listen, against Kyron. I, listen, I, I'm <laughs> delighted for Dominic. Me you too, know, me too. he's absolutely, you know, I, I, I've, I've been talking to and him. And he as wouldn't well. enjoy coming out about the cutting much. Oh, he no, he's a bit shy. <laughs> but listen, he's he's done fantastic yeah, this season so, and yeah. he's practicing mm -hmm. a lot more. Last year he was talking about giving up. You know, Kyron Wilson has been struggling. Now, we know Dominic, he's, he knows the table inside out. Yeah, His oh, safety yeah, yeah. game is good. Absolutely. And if he starts to score, if he stays with Wilson, he's got a squeak, but you've got to make Wilson favourite on, on yeah. Brightville. He's a bit like Ken Dort, he's crafty and very crafty. Tom, very yeah. crafty. He, no, he doesn't play the wrong shot. No, no. absolutely. What about Barry Hawk and Ryan Day? Two, two good pals, two good pedigrees at the Crucible, obviously, especially Barry. Well, I think Ryan Day, you know, Scott Donaldson, I watched that match and I was, you know, I'm not yeah. biased at all, but yeah. I was absolutely gutted for Scott Donaldson, um, yeah, he's he played yeah, just a bit, yeah. safety shot and the ball was rolled off a whole ball. I know. And then you see him after the frame trying to like find the I know he's kept playing. He it. needs a snooker Ryan Day. I know. And Ryan Day's come through. Ryan Day did struggle a bit in that match. Mm. He's got to play really well to beat Hawkins. I'll yeah. make Hawkins favourite. No, absolutely. Let's have a look then. Mark Allen's been one of the men of the season, obviously. Mm. Robbie Williams he's got. Do you see an easy passage or unsafe? No, part? tough game. Yeah. Tough game for Mark uh, for Mark Allen. Mm. Robbie Williams, you know, he's come on this season, he scores well, but Mark Allen can win this world championship. Yeah. He has that A and B game. And if he starts scoring with this safety game that he's mm. produced now, he's a handful for anyone. Yeah, I think it's important he starts well, uh, Mark mm. Allen. What about uh, Tom Ford coming in as a seed for the first time, he's playing Ricky. Well, uh, it's a know, tough one, that. Yeah, <laughs> listen, Ricky Warden, like, he's won three tournaments in China, he hasn't been about for a long time, he's had a bad back, but he can score and play this game and make it look easy. Mm. You know, Tom Ford's got a real tough match there. Absolutely. Lu Hao Chan, he's a bit of a wild card player. We don't, He's been around that lot. We don't know all that much about him. Really? He, he plays Sean Murphy. But he's a real good player. He's a real good He's a good, got good cue yeah, ball control. He scores. He just looks a bit intimidating. And you can't get at him. No, you he, can't. He's sort of just... Yeah, it's like, a, it's like he's going to have a practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, but he's playing Sean Murphy. He has to get out the traps, Lou Hao Shan, quickly to have any chance because Murphy will love mm. him here, wouldn't he? He'd probably come, on, come in on Dominic. 
shoulders. <laughs> and I, well, I agree with that again. Okay, last but certainly not least, your mate Ronnie against Jackson your mate Page. also. Yeah, well, yeah. Listen, Jackson Page for me, I, you know, I, I like his game, mm. but I think he's a little bit too open for Ronnie, mm. and I think Ronnie going for eight world championships. First time is like UK and Masters going for the Triple Crown mm. and all eight. And the way he's produced O'Sullivan during this last season, like when someone's come close to him, he seems to have gone for the win mm. and produced, kicked on. He's having mm. them spasms of winning three or four frames. Mm. With Mark Williams in the last tournament, he's only human, Ronnie. Now and again, he's going to like, you know, he's going to like, you know, run yeah. out of steam. Yeah, of course. Mark yeah. Williams played yeah. excellent. But you see, that was a sort of. Because Ronnie's sort of superhuman the way he's been playing this season, you haven't seen a lot of that. Mm. But so it, it'd be a bit of a doubt. I can't see Jackson Page beating Ronnie now. I actually think he's got the game to upset Ronnie though. Mm. I, I mean, I watched his qu last couple of matches of qualifying. He was to see to, the way he won the match to get here. Yeah, was sensational. I didn't see that. It, it, it's oh, Jim. Honestly, it, like through the ball, he's like what's that? It's like butterscotch or something. Yeah. Like, like under massive pressure yeah. and he's, he's gone like floating off. He's very yeah. long. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and he, and, I, he, I, I and know, he's similar but... to Mark Williams, but he doesn't have the safety game that Mark Williams has. And mm. no, he's no. not learnt that yet from him. So mm. where he's a bit long and he's going for his shots, I think mm. Ronnie O'Sullivan would just be too good on the tactical side. We know Ronnie's yeah. going to score. Yeah. He does that like, left-handed. Because that's what he does, yeah. yeah. Um, can't wait, can you? No, do? no, I'm really excited, yeah. Can't wait. We're going to go get to bed early. And Don't be lie. Up, <laughs> and be up in the morning because the crucible starts tomorrow. Cheers out. Cheers out. God bless.